about to enter a new dimension of not only factual stories, but of entertainment. This is The Spotlight Zone. Welcome back. I'm Nathan Woodlightner. And I'm Bree Chaker. Hope you have a happy Valentine's Day. Keep it PG in the hall, Simley. Perfect. Let's get to those stories. Nathan, why are you eating chips so close after lunch? Oh, because I gave away my apple. Why? Let's go find out. <laughs> Spots of the childhood obesity epidemic. The federal government has been making changes on how school lunches are subsidized. These changes intended to encourage people to get healthier have had some unintended consequences. For example, in order to get the subsidized, therefore cheaper lunch price, students are required to take items that they might not actually want to eat. Often, those items are just getting tossed into the trash. Food is being put to other uses as well. Mr. Genzel and other teachers have been collecting apples for students that are hungry throughout the day. One, um, just so you're not wasting food. Uh, I know you have to take them at times. And I think it's silly that if you don't want it, then you just throw it away because you're wasting. So I collect them and I'll give them to students that want them. Or I have a student who lives by some horses and she will take, you know, 10 apples or whatever a day and give the apples to her horse, horses. That student is Emily Sweeney. I started collecting apples as a joke between Mr. Gansel and I. He gave me one one day and then pretty soon they started piling up to more and more. I actually don't mind because the apples go to my neighbor's farms in which they feed them to their horses. Sometimes policies with the best intentions may have some unintended outcomes. I'm Chloe Shaw reporting for Spidey Smiley. Thanks Chloe, it's awesome to know that those apples are going to a good cause. <laughs> Hey, do you know what happened to the chem switches? They brought them back just to get my hopes up, and now they're crushed again. They were actually a one-week fundraiser for the yearbook. Nick and Dennis want to go find out more. Hey there. As many of you know, for a limited time only, we're selling chem switches here at this point. That's right, Simply. Everyone's favorite cookie sandwich is back. Let's go see what you guys have to think about it. The chem switches were brought back this year due to the lack of funds the yearbook committee was receiving over the years of purchasing yearbooks. They were brought back as a way to ensure a fundraiser to lower the cost of the yearbook for this year and hopefully next year's. Kemp Switch sandwiches, um, I love them. I love ice cream, so what wouldn't I love about them? They're cookies too. The price, $2, it's for a fundraiser, so you're helping support this fundraiser, which is, a, it's a good cause. So you, $2, it's a good deal, and they're smaller, so what? How many calories do you need? Eat a Kemp Switch, support something. This is my first bite of a Kemp Switch, of which I was not even aware Gooier than I expected. <laughs> I expected it to be harder. Be sure to buy a yearbook this year. So there you have it, Simile. Now it's time for you to make a decision. Which would you rather have? An orange or a Kim Switch? You make the decision. This, this has been Nick Olson and Dennis Connor reporting for Sporting Spotlight. Thanks, guys. <laughs> That's all for this week, guys. I'm Nathan Wendlinger. And I'm Bree Jacob, but I have one more thing to ask. Nathan, will you be my Valentine? No. <laughs> <laughs>